Welcome to the second part of our video series about 3D fitting workflows. In this video, we'll use an outfit of a French cherry jacket and leggings. Note that the leggings were created with one pattern piece. First, let's review the jacket. The back is longer than the front, and we notice that there are some drag lines. These drag lines are caused by a missing dart. However, since we don't want to add darts to the jacket, we expect that some drag lines will stay. Let's open the tension map. Since it's not a fitted garment, most of the garment should not have high tension. Next, we open the pressure map. The shoulder has some yellow areas on the sleeve, which may mean that there is too much pressure for this jacket style. We disable Use in 3D for one of the sleeves and allow the garment to simulate. The sleeve was pulling the garment outwards. Opening the pressure map again, the yellow areas are no longer seen, which means the problem is with the sleeve. Let's bring the sleeve back. Like in our previous demo, we increase the fabric transparency to see the fitting better. We also add the 3D measurement of the bust that was previously saved. Here's a tip. If using Olivia, we can determine the correct positioning of the measuring tape by changing the avatar textures to fit markers and draw the measurement according to the present markers. We use this measurement as a reference to trace the bust position with a pen tool for the front and back patterns. Next, we want to place the front piece above the back piece. There's a big difference in the placement of these lines, which means that we need to either shorten the back or make the front longer, or both. Let's fix both the front and the back patterns. We will start with the back pattern. Since the bottom line already has a nice curve, we reduce the length from the top. We enable multi-move and reduce the center back point by 1.5 centimeters, then adjust the curve to be smoother. We dress to see the results. It looks much better. Moving on to the front pattern, we first disable the multi-move and click on the bottom lines. We drag them down slightly and bring this corner point back to ensure the side seam matches. Now we have the length shortened and the garment looks more balanced. We also want to widen the sleeves. We mark the area with a pen tool, and using the handles, make the sleeve cap slightly wider. We dress to see the results. On the pressure map, the area is no longer green. Let's move on to review the leggings. At a glance, they look fine. Let's open the tension and pressure maps to be sure. The map is yellow, which is good since these are leggings and we want them to be fitted. The only thing that seems to need fixing is the inseam. It is not centered and it is positioned too much to the back side. To fix this, we start by using the pen tool to mark the center of the avatar's legs in the 3D window. We mark the front and the back. We can see the marks in the 2D window as well. We go to insert, then measure. On the horizontal contextual menu, we enable snap to point and snap to edge and measure the distance from the markings to the side seam. The front line to the edge is about 8.7 centimeters and from the back line to the edge is 5.2 centimeters. The gap is around four centimeters, so we need to adjust around two centimeters from each side. Before starting, we ensure that track changes is enabled. We insert a point 34 centimeters from the hem on both side seams. Next, we enable the multi-move. We need to remove the pins on the knee points and pin the crotch points. We move the new points we added on the back two centimeters outwards. On the front side seam, we do the opposite and move the points two centimeters inwards. We reshape the lines slightly by making them smoother. We dress the garment, and that's it. The leggings are ready, and this outfit is balanced. 
In these two videos, we saw that detecting a fitting problem in a garment and solving it is sometimes challenging. Using 3D tools makes it easier to use trial and error when adjusting patterns as we get to view real-time changes in 3D. The fitting solutions we showed are our way of thinking to solve the fit problems. We hope that you will take the tools, practice them in your workflow, and match them to your needs and your way of thinking. For more information, check out the Browser Help Center at support.browseware.com.